been Floyd Williams, also known as the Magic Music Man. Now, I gotta tell you, I thought my name was cool, God, but <laughs> Magic Music Man, I, I'll take that any day. <laughs> well, you know, um, a, a little background. Uh, first, let me tell you who the Magic Music Man is. Um, I kind of call, he's kind of like the tooth fairy of hip hop. And he stars in all of our books. Um, and there's always an element of music in, in the books. Everything we do is, is lyrical, musical, and it's a cacophony of the arts. Multi-modality, multicultural, multi-sensory. It's the multi, multi, multi uh, program. And um, the Magic Music Man actually uh, was invented because I met, I met him first. <laughs> the way I created him was the, the first book in the series. It actually took 11 years to publish. Oh, wow. 11, 11 long years for this teeny tiny little book. And um, it was well worth the journey. Yeah. Uh, the last time I talked to my publisher before it was published, I had reworked it, rewritten it several times, and she said, Jane, I just love this, but could you change it one more time? And I went, oh my goodness. So I didn't know what I was going to do. I went to sleep. And I said, you know, I'm going to sleep on this and it'll come to me. And <clears throat> what happened when I woke up in the morning, I thought, wow, it was inspiration. Yeah. Um, and the inspiration was the Magic Music Man. So I rewrote the story and the Magic Music Man enters the children's lives in the books who are having the challenge, if you will. And they provide the inspiration for them to work through it, you know, perseverance. And, and then the children, in, in every story, they, they discover, like in the music in me, that the little boy who was looking for his own music and it wasn't working out, that the music was inside him all along. Yeah. For Lloyd, you're sitting over there smiling from ear to ear. It's got to make you feel good to be a part of this. Oh, most definitely. Well, talk, talk about it. What do you do day in and day out? What's different about your act, if you will, being the magic music man that, that really hits home for you, that really allows you to reach out to our area and you? Well, as the magic music man, I have to say this is so gratifying, um, humbling. Um, as a magic music man, my role is to encourage and lead youth into finding their superpowers or talents. Well, you got me over here wanting to have a superpower or two. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I can fly by the time. <laughs> but it just got to really make you feel good, knowing that, well, that you're putting a smile on a child's face and you're helping them learn at the same time and open up and, and become receptive, if you will. Well, you know how I discovered Floyd? Um, he was working at Trader Joe's, and I noticed that every customer around Floyd he was connecting with with such positive energy mm. no matter what their age was no matter what their background was and I, I saw a sparkle in his eye and I went over to him and I said I, I have to ask you a, a crazy question but can you rap and he said well yes I can I said well can you dance can you mime can you drum <laughs> and he said sure and I said will you audition for me after and he I, said who's this crazy lady <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my store! Get out of my store! And, and I have to tell you, I, I, I feel so blessed that our paths have crossed because he is magic. Yeah. He, he connects to the children so well. Yeah. Uh, he just, he, it comes from his heart. You know, it's also exciting, besides Bobby McFerrin, Ray Rice from the Baltimore Ravens, he's involved with our program and he oh, helps us, man. yeah, he's a fabulous, fabulous man. He is, uh, he wrote the forward for the Bully Blues, which is hitting the streets soon. And he's also working with us on our anti-bullying campaign as well. Wow. Well, good stuff. Jane, I, I tell you, it's always a pleasure to see you. I, I always love it when I get that telephone call saying, Guy, I got another event. I always say, come on in because we want to share it with the DMV. You know, one thing, could I add one more, more thing that really touched me? Um, Ray wrote in his forward that you don't have to be a Super Bowl champion to be a hero. Mm. That if you reach out and act nice, be kind, if you see another child in need and embrace them, you will be a hero. That just really touched my heart because it is so true. Kindness really does go a long way. And before we leave, 
Can the magic music man give you a little sample of oh, some of his magic? It. Let's hear it. Almost oh, definitely. Let's get it. Uh, check it out. Uh, it swings, it sings from year to year. It floats and waves into my ear. It moves, it grooves, it shakes the blues. It makes my toes tap in my shoes. What I'm talking about is the music in me. I'm in the music and the music's in me. It's all a beautiful symphony. Yeah. My man, the magic music man.